Hi everyone, um, I'm back and I want to talk about last night's MTV episodes um, that came on. Um, they premiered Jersey Shore um, last night, not premiere, but you know, they showed an episode, usually it comes on I think Thursday nights, so um, last night on Sunday they had a special episode for the VMAs. Now, both Jersey Shore and the VMAs were crazy. Let me get to the Jersey Shore. Oh my God, Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. You were looking a little bit pathetic, okay? It's like, I understand what you're saying, but you just met her once. Like, you didn't really get to, like, really talk to her. You know, yeah, she was pretty, but how do you know for a fact that she's a girl you would take to your mom's home or, you know, like, to introduce, you know, introduce her to your mother? Like, I, I felt bad for the kid. Uh, but, Vinny, now, the thing that got me a little, like, whatever, it was just like, ugh. Okay, when he called, when she called you and told you that she didn't want to go out on a date with you she didn't even give she didn't even say oh, i'm sick or i have something else to do she just said i don't want to go out with you that was a sign that she's not the one for you i know okay i feel that you was hurt that first time because you was looking forward you got all dressed up and all that i get it so i agree you know with your emotions the first time okay but for you to call her back to beg her, like, really? You're going to beg somebody to please go? If you have to beg someone to go on a date with you, that's not a good look. <laughs> Honey, it's not a good look. Oh, my God. I knew 100% that she was going to stand him up. Because she even got the guts to call you the first time to say, I don't want to go on a date with you. So what makes you think by you begging her, you know what I'm saying? The reason why she said yes, because you was like, please, 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 please. Like, <laughs> of course she would say, okay. But you should know that, like, you set yourself up for failure. Because that, mm -mm, you don't even know the chick. And that made you look really retarded. Um, moving on to Mike, the situation. You are a big ass hater. Hater. Hate her. Like, does anyone see this? Because for you, like, I don't even like Angelina. I don't. Yeah, what she's doing is wrong. What she did to the boy is wrong. You know, Joe, Joseph, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know his name. But for you to be, like, in her business, that's a hater. I'm sorry. You sleeping with Tom, Dick, and Harry. Like, Angelina did say, he. I don't got a ring on my finger. Um... We are not exclusive. That's not my boyfriend. Technically, I'm single. So why are you in Angelina's business? Like, that was some bitch assness to, like, the 10th power. Seriously. He needs to go sit, sit down. And then the fact that he's even more of a hater when Paulie had his girl over. And when he called the another chick to come early in the morning. Yo, why are you going to be there when he's trying to, like, fuck? Why are you going to be there and, like, eat a sandwich and be like, yeah, come on, do you want a sandwich? Like, does not does anyone see that how much of a hater the situation is? Ugh. But, hey, Tur, you're, you're mad that you didn't have a girl that night, so you have to cock block Holly. Hater. I'm sorry. Ugh. But, um, who else? You know, nothing really going on with Sammy. I see Sammy and Ronnie are together and acting like a sweet couple that's crazy but you know sometimes you know love love is crazy thing you know so um snooki oh my god Vinny's family i love 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 his family and his uncle <laughs> he was in heaven in that hot tub oh my god but mm. Not a lot, lot going on this like in this um episode, but 
what did went down was crazy. The whole, you know, cock blocking from the situation, you know, and the fact that Vinny looked like a pathetic, pathetic little dog, little puppy, you know what I'm saying? And that's not cool, you know? Um, that's crazy. But uh, the VMAs. This year, I really did not. I wasn't that excited. Chelsea, the host, I don't know. Maybe she was nervous. I don't know why she was nervous. It's so funny because I like her show. You know, her her um, Chelsea Late Night whatever show. Maybe she was really nervous, but she did not do a good job. Like, her jokes were, like, dead air sound. Like, nobody was really laughing, you know? It was, like, she went below the belt, a lot of her jokes. And it was just like, ugh. You know, but it wasn't like, oh my God, that shit was hilarious. No. So, maybe that's why they don't have girls hosting. They haven't had a girl hosting the show. I don't know. But she did not do a good job. Um, the performances. Lady Gaga um, won so many awards. What? I do not care. I'm a Gaga fan. I go goo goo for Gaga. Okay? I love Lady Gaga. And that song, Born This Way, or the name of the album, Born This Way, I don't know what it is, but when she did a little acapella, oh my God, like, it touched me. Like, I cannot wait if that song to come out because that song touched me, you know, Born This Way. I I can relate to that song, you know, really, really love her. Um, Usher, Usher, I don't know, marriage, having two kids maybe hurt him, but he needs to go sit some, like, <laughs> He really doesn't need to sit down. And the thing that gets me so mad about Usher, if you saw This Is It, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson was how old? He was sick and all that shit, and he gave a performance, and he was rehearsing, okay? Michael Jackson was rehearsing, and he gave the most phenomenal performance just rehearsing. If you haven't seen This Is It, go check it out. And you got Usher. How old is Usher? He's supposed to be young and... He can't dance and sing at the same time. Like, he fell off, and he needs to stay off. He needs to go sit down, watch his kids, maybe get married to somebody else, find love. But I don't want to see Usher perform live ever again. Like, oh, no. I'm sorry, Usher, but you're not it, you know? And this is the thing that gets me so mad because Chris, Chris Brown, all the crap that, you know, Chris Brown is dealing with, I feel like Chris Brown is the only... You know what I'm saying? R&B artists that can really perform, dance, sing live and give a really good performance. That's so fucked up that nobody is wanting him right now, you know? But it's whatever, you know? Maybe one day people will grow up and learn to forgive and forget the Kanye West situation. Oh my freaking God. Like, he did not kill anyone. You And his performance, oh Okay, the song that he put out on Good Friday, I don't remember it, but I, I think I heard it, and I it was, like, with Charlie Wilson or something like that, and I'm not really feeling that song. But the song he sung for um, the VMAs, oh, my God. You have to go check it out. Google it. I forgot the name of it, but I love that song. I'm like, yes, Kanye's back. Because the last couple of songs that he's been putting out for his Good Friday thing has not been good. And I was a little bit worried, you know, because it, he started off so high and then he was just going low, low. But this song is hot. I actually want to go check it out and listen to it again. But I love the song. Um, and people were booing him. Like MTV censored it a little bit. So you couldn't really hear it. But if you was there, you, you heard it. And me, like, watching the show live, you can hear it a little bit. You can hear that MTV was trying to, like, mask it a little bit. But people were booing him. It's like it's been a year. Like, give, them, give him a break. God, like, why? Who are we to judge? Like, why can't we forgive, you know, and forget? He did not do anything. If Taylor Swift forgave him, okay? Why can't you forgive him? He's the one that messed with Taylor Swift, okay? And Taylor Swift said, okay, I'm moving on from the situation. Her song that she wrote was about moving on and she forgives. Like, come on. Like, who are you to not forgive him and for, to be booing him, you know? Oh, man, I hate this. I hate haters. I really do. It's like, get over it. Seriously. Get a grip, people. But anyways, um, his performance was really good. Taylor Swift's song was okay. I, personally, I don't like her singing live. She just, 
mm -mm. I'd rather just hear her her recordings because her singing live is not that good, you know. But she's beautiful. She's really beautiful. She's stunning. Um, the whole other, like, uh, performances that I really like, um, I knew Rihanna was going to come. I actually feel like, because Chris Brown wasn't there, that's why she came definitely, but, you know, it's whatever. But I knew she was going to come. Uh, I, I'm i not a Rihanna fan her, of her singing live, too, so I can hear less, but I love Eminem. Uh, Gaga, back to Lady Gaga with her outfits. I'm telling you, she is a hot mess, but I love all her hot messes. <laughs> like, if that's even a word, I'm just making up words, but I love her. And, um, so check, you know, I'm sure MTV's gonna play the VMAs over and over again. So if you missed it, you know, try to catch it again, you know. Um, but. It was, it was, it was lackluster this year, you know what I'm saying, like, the whole suck, you know, um, and the only moment where I was like, oh my god, yes, is when Lady Gaga, her last award, when she did her speech and she gave the acapella song, um, sung acapella, that was, like, my moment for me, for the whole award show, um, oh, and Kanye West at the end, but, you know, to each his own. So, that's all I wanted to say. Um, I know I said I was going to put up, you know, my sister singing and a link to Rihanna's song. Ugh. It's taking her forever to freaking just sit and try to find and record this song. But, you know, just bear with me, people. Um, today is the aftermath of the whole VMAs. So, today is September 13th. Um, so, yeah. What do I want to say? I think that's it. So, I know I talk about a lot of random stuff, but like I said, a lot of things are going to be, you know, coming to my blog, you know, my music, my fashion. So, just look out. Bear bear with me. <laughs> please, please, please bear with me and look out for that. Um, but anyways, all right. Love you all. Bye.